queens and kings welcome back and in today's video we will be creating four fashion dupes of chanel inspired using dollar tree products if you all would like to see our creative please continue to watch All right, queens and kings so starting off with these books here that i purchased from the dollar tree three um at this point here um i'm actually going to take the cover off these and i'm going to glue these together now this diy was inspired by another youtuber years ago i believe two years ago so that's just how long this thing been in my head to do um i can't remember her name because she have changed her name again though but i was inspired by another youtuber to do this unique idea with these books so here i'm just actually gluing all three of the books together and then i'm going to actually paint them black okay so as you guys can see i did paint the men of war white because the paint did not go on the very well i believe because of the font that was on the books but now here i'm taking some bling gem stickers that i did also purchase from walmart i'm sorry that i did forgot to mention that so most of these items are from dollar tree and walmart as well as the paint that i did use on here but all i'm going to do here and take off the wording chanel basically that's what i'm gonna spell out on the middle book the white one which was the reason why i want to go with the silver one just do something a little bit different because the words that you guys did see that i am uh image that i did print out that i'm gonna cut out later this image here the books on there is black so that's why i painted the other two black so therefore i can basically glue those on okay queens and kings so this mod podge here that is like i said it's a high gloss or extra gloss or something like that i did purchase that also from walmart which i did have these letters as well as these images as well as these books all this stuff i had in stock like i had it for a while now but i'm quite sure you still can find this stuff at walmart at this time as well as dollar tree but anywho, I'm just placing some Mod Podge down because that's how I'm going to get the word to stay on there. And then I'm going to seal it with another coat of Mod Podge. So that can protect it. Therefore, the letters does not come off or fall off. And then they'd be a high gloss like the books are as well. Okay, so here is a choker that I did have a while in my stash. <laughs> you know, anything bling, I'm keeping on to it. Then I also have some of these little bling scripts, which I was going to use them first. But I decided to go with the choker here, which I have cut down on. I am cutting it in pieces. And I think I'm going to cut it into four pieces of scripts or maybe three just to fill in the gaps in between the books there just to add a little bit more glam because I feel like it's a little plain here at this point here. But what I'm going to use it for they may be a little bit too extra for the area but anywho which you guys should have seen in the beginning so anyways i just tuck some hot glue and put in between the books and i'm just gonna lay those gems on in between as well as the top so if you are a dollar tree fan you know these knives have came from dollar tree as well and this is basically what I'm going to use it for. I'm going to use it for a knife holder. These cute designer fashion books here. And at, on the front of the book, you can see that I placed this image on here. Say, cut me and I bleed the ore. Which I thought that was so cute and a great quote to go along with the books here. What do you queens and kings think? I really do like this image here. I wish I knew the queen that actually inspired this book these knife holders with these books i cannot remember her name because she have changed her name several times so but i do want to give a shout out to her anyway even if she come across this video 
so now moving on to this bottle here honey i have me an old wine bottle here and i'm gonna use this i'm gonna take some walmart spray paint and paint it white as you guys can see here i do have a little imperfections and everything that's because of the sticker that was on there i was trying to take it off and it didn't totally come off so here i'm gonna use these little bling little letters that i got from walmart and i'm going to spell out coco chanel on this bottle here which it took a minute so that's why you guys didn't really get to see me do it because it was like hell trying to get these to line up so anywho i have this little chanel ribbon here and then i have this brooch here if i'm not mistaken i got this brooch from totally dazzle or i ordered them from amazon it's out of the one of the two i'm not sure don't quote me on it so by it in remind me of a chanel um buckle so i'm gonna use that for the necktie of this ribbon that i had that i purchased from overstock was it overstock where did i get this from i don't know xc or something i don't know you just googling i'm quite sure you could find some chanel ribbon or you could just use a black ribbon it does not have to be chanel but anywho i'm just going to take this through here because it's a buckle and slide it through and i'm going to cut it down to size that's basically all that i'm going to do so it could be real cute like a little nice little bow or bow tie or whatever you desire to call it So it's cute or whatever, whatever, but I went into more of my little stash here and I'm showing you guys the bling scripts that I was going to use early in the video that I got these here actually from Dollar Tree. Yeah, these came from Dollar Tree. So I'm just going to put those down to the bottom. Just put a little more jazz onto the bottom, you know, dress it up a little bit, you know, put a little more glamorous to it. You guys know I got to be a little bit extra. And also now for the top of the baller or so i'm going to use an old ring that i had in my stash that i'm showing you guys here a little little raggly ring as you guys can see it's falling apart so it was time for this to be glued onto something or used for some type of crafting but anyways i'm just gonna cut off the elastic of it and i'm gonna glue that directly on top of the baller okay queens and kings so here it is on my gorgeous bar cart i love the way how this turned out i love the way that it looks just so cute and i did print out that image that way it in that picture frame say rose chanel and champagne so if you all would like to see a full look of my bar cart head over to my second channel which is queen val living which i will leave it in the icard as well in the description box but i love the way how this looks so if you want to see a full bar cart tour head over to my channel and subscribe now moving on to our third diy we got some more books here now out of these books diys i don't know i don't know which one is my favorite you all gonna have to let me know so once again i glued the books together use their white spray paint and here is another image which is a chanel purse image that i print offline which you can find free printables or so to get these images like i said i had all this stuff for a while now so by its chlorotene i'm just deciding to go ahead and just jump into my creativity anywho so i'm basically doing the same thing putting that mod podge all over the book I'm going to place this image directly onto that mod podge and to seal it i'm going to put some more mod podge on top of it, the same way that i did with the wordings I am loving the way these DIYs is turning out so far. So I also went and got my exact do knife because I was like, you know what? I'm going to just cut this because I'm going to try to make it look as realistic as possible. And basically, that's what I was trying to do. But I will say, cut this in half if you decided to do this part here. Do it before you actually glue it on there um, because it did cut it up a little bit, gave a little jagged, rough little ends or whatever. I thought it was going to be like a little easy smooth cutter because it was all wet all up but child 
no but anyways it's still gonna turn out as gorgeous as possible as it can be like it's really gonna be gorgeous i'm telling y'all just just believe me just trust me when i say it trust me when i say it, it really is because it does give that little 3d effect or look or whatever that is my number one word of whatever <laughs> So, yes, just trust me when I say it. So, I also went and found a little um, popsicle sticks just to try to push in some of the image in between the books or whatever. I swear, I'm going to try to stop saying it, but um, just to help it out, though, you know, smooth it some and everything. So, put enough marge parts so the image can actually lay down. And then we're going to sit this to the side so, therefore, it can dry some. So, therefore, we move on to the next step. Okay, so we are here. The next step is to place some rhinestones on the sides. Now, basically where I cut the image in and it lines up in the middle or because you see that it did not go all the way over the books, the entire books. And honestly, I did not need five books. I thought I would, but I needed just four books to do this, but it's cool. So I'm just going to take those bling scripts and cut those down as in a row of two. And I'm going to line the sides up here, basically where the image stops at on the sides if that makes sense and we're just gonna do both ends of the books like that so once again I'm gonna take one of those buckles that remind me of chanel and this time i'm using my wire cutters to cut out some spaces off the buckles you know basically get this double c look and where the lines at there in the buckle where you could place the ribbon so i'm going to remove all of that but you have to take your time because by these are thin the buckles so you can actually break it too much off or cut too much off and then i'm going to glue it directly in the middle where the cc image on top of the image itself is located All right, so here it is. I have it placed on my table and I totally love the way that this look. Like, I love how this look. The, I don't know, it's just cute. It's just cute and simple, not too much going on, just enough. I can even turn it sideways and it still give me the image that I want or looking for. But I love the way these turn out. You queens and kings, tell me what you guys think. Would you make all these for yourself? So anywho, to the last and final DIY, we're gonna do number four. Here is a, a bag that I got from the Dollar Tree. And I had this a while, y'all. Like, this is crazy how long I had some of these items. And then I have this 11 by 14 um, picture frame from the Dollar Tree as well. So I'm going to remove everything out of it. And then I'm going to try to shape, uh, cut the mirror down to size of the glass that's in it. So I'm going to use that to outline it with my Exacto knife. And then I'm going to cut the rest of it out because it did not cut it all the way through. So that means my knife was getting dull at this point here. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the frame. We're gonna actually paint that black because as you guys can see, it's like a actually black or not as black as you will want or like, but well, not for me anyway. And I'm gonna use that same paint that I painted the books with. And once again, this paint came from Walmart. So it was like 54 98 cent. Okay, so after the frame has completely dry, uh, dry dried as best as my ability, I'm gonna place the glass back in and I'm going to place the image that we did cut out the bag and as I'm showing you guys here I did also went ahead and cover up some of the outlines up put some bling on that's based on where the purple ribbon was located at I did not want that showing at all because I just want to go with a black and white look so now I'm going to place that back in there and try to press it down as flat as possible trying to get that middle line out of it but 
it was impossible for me to do that but i'm gonna hide that so once we put the backing back on we're gonna flip it over and we're gonna take some letters that i got from dollar tree with these letters once again we're gonna spell out chanel now it takes some time to do this so i'm gonna do most of it off camera so forgive me for that but you will get it so i'm just gonna use where that line is for my purpose to help me line it up so but i did start off with the a and i'm gonna work my way out of spelling chanel all right my beautiful queens and kings this is the final look i have it here in my kitchen as well and i just love this flower on here because it does remind me of the chanel flower so that's how i came up with this gorgeous idea but i'm also going to use it for a tray as well so like you can use for a two for one put it on the wall or you can put it on your coffee table also so that's what i'm going to do with it as well and as you guys can see i have most of the diys that i have created here on youtube recently on this tray here everything that is on this tray is a diy that is done by me as well as the coasters and those little shot glasses so i really do love the way that this turned out and i also love the chanel bag books stacks of image so i hope you queens and kings enjoyed this video if you all did please like comment share and subscribe and i will see you all in the next one bye bye and continue to be royal